it just me or is it getting crazier out there hey everybody welcome Root. to the late late horror show what is going on we're back and we're black and we're back y'all yes we are back and on a regular basis again yeah right. actually actually going to be doing more i've been away because i've gone through some stuff I don't know if I'll ever get into it on the channel. And I've been rioting. Because it's personal. But, um, you know, five weeks of, of hell. But anyways, um, I'm back. We're back. Uh, yeah, Ted's been um, looting stores. <laughs> I've been looting. No. <laughs> I said, don't do that, Ted. And he, or do you yeah, think we got all this kick-ass equipment? But, but you know what? Yeah, the uh, set is kind of different, really. It was totally twisted around in the, the room. See how crystal clear we are? Where do you uh, think that came from? Got an upgrade in camera. Daddy, Teddy knows where got, to loot. Got, got some new lights. Um, it's looking like a legit studio in here. You're going to be see Well, there's a lot of things I'm doing. All this other shit than, is too good for the other, amount of people that we have watching this. Other than the, <laughs> other than this show that we get together and we just have fun doing, um, there's other stuff that I'm doing that involves a little bit more pr production uh, and professionalism. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... That but, set's over there. And, and you, you're, gonna, just a you're gonna be seeing a lot of cool different things. That's all I'll say in the future videos here because um, man, what's coming tomorrow is gonna be really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll you'll probably see it next week. For, well, you might see it sooner because I'm gonna be doing some stuff. Oh. But uh, yeah, yeah, without him, but, don't need me. But this I'm is I'm just weighing the show down. Oh, if he says so. Um, but no, 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 shut up. Um, but yeah, yeah, so as usual, we're going to talk veiled, about... fat joke. Thin, thinly veiled. <laughs> but I'm yeah. allowed. <laughs> oh, and I got a few other things you can spot in the background there. Um, John, John, right there. You can see that there. Um, anyways. Creepers. Um, we're going to get back to, uh, a movie a week. Um, this week we are doing a full moon feature. Uh, <laughs> Dowl Man. You, you usually can't go wrong with Full Moon. You, usually you can't. Um, usually. This wasn't... Dowl Man. 19, uh, Dowl Man's 1991. It's, it's a cult classic. Uh, Charles Band wrote the story. Yeah, I was getting a little nervous when I wasn't seeing his name right away in the credits. Yeah, well... It, it, you got any memories of when you first saw Dowl Man? I saw it when it first came out on videotape. I was... Yeah, it was when I was a, a wee little... Visiting my grandparents. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, oh. They didn't have a VCR, so my uncle would rent one. Yeah, uh, they lived in West Virginia. They didn't have a VCR, so he would rent one or borrow one or something. Right. I was there visiting for the summer, okay. and he went. He said, "I'll go rent you a couple of tapes and you have know, something to do because there's nothing to do. They live in the sticks." <laughs> and one of the I don't remember the other movie he rented me. Might have been The Naked Gun, but uh, okay, he got me Doll Man. He's like, "This just looked like something you'd like." <laughs> <laughs> And, and it all began. So that would have been there. the summer of probably '92 when when I saw okay. Doll Man. So a year so I remember, after, year I after. remember when I first saw Doll. Man. Wow. Okay. Before I knew anything about Full Moon, really, that was coming in the next couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Like when I graduated high school, that's when I. It was probably you know, a few years. Started after finding that. it when I got my own membership card right. to the local video store. Yeah. Um, that's, that's when, when that's, I started. Yeah, that's when we really went to town and uh, you know went behind the curtains. You yes. know. And, oh, uh, first thing you got to do, yeah, go. go you got the, to look at what's go, going or, on. Or, or my, the one that by my corner had the the, the Western saloon style doors. Oh, really? Which was kind of cool because you yeah. could still see a little bit above. Well, I was going to say the one I went to, uh, Cosmic Video in, in the Cleveland area, here, mm -hmm. um, had had a sheet like just a sheet with you know a curtain rod. Yep. And, and most of the time, the people would come out. It would leave it open always by like five, oh, six inches. So, you know, we could always see what was in oh, there. You man. Know, Ginger Lynn. The best of goo. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> um, But, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, yeah, a few years after I saw it. But, um, you know, up until... And I haven't seen it really since I watched it last night. Oh, God, I've probably watched it about and, um, six times or so in my I mean, whole life. You got Jim Thomerson, you Tim, know. Tim Thomerson. I mean, Tim Thomerson. Say it right. Say it with pleasure. Ted, this is me. I, I, I goof up names all the time. This is why you have me on. This is why I have Ted on. Tim he, Thomerson he is, is the... What's his name? Brick? Brick Barto. Brick Barto. Yeah, but... Yeah. And Jackie Earl say, Haley is in this, that's too. That's true. Before he became uh, a 
plays Braxton Wright. Respected anyway. actor. <laughs> Who? Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah. Before he, he, he was I in, mean, I think he did Bad News Bears and then nothing else till well, Ballman. And he was in Breaking Away. I don't he was know one of the is. bicyclists in Breaking Away. But anyways. No one saw that movie. I saw that movie <laughs> when I was young, but, but uh, Tim Thomas was like 76, 77, he's, 78. He's, he's you know he, he's Charles Band's go-to man. Yeah, Jim you know? Thomerson. He's like you know Scorsese's fantastic. De Niro. Tim Thomas. You know, I mean, it's my guy. You know, he did all the Trancers movies, and then he did yeah. the Doll Man movies. And I know he's done something else, but you know, and, and when <laughs> you first see him in this movie, uh, the character he plays, you, you kind of laugh a little bit, and you go. He's playing this tough cop. I mean, man, he, he blows uh, Charles Bronson out of the water. No, <laughs> he's like Charles Bronson. I don't know about that. Dressed but, in a Humphrey Bogart trench coat and uh, yeah, yeah. Where, I don't know. I guess they have Cavarici pants on Arturos. Ooh, Cavarici. <laughs> I don't pants. know whatever those pants were. Their clothes were. Well, wait, a little what's bit the too name similar. of the place? Uh, Arturos. Arturos. That's right. I was the trying name to of remember the that he's from. Yeah, yeah, at the beginning I missed it, and I'm like, oh, what? And I didn't go back to check. And I, oh, the I name figured, of the planet. I figured Ted would know. I get know. all the details. Yeah, Arturos. But 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 when I see him, I'm like going, ah, you don't fit the role. But you know, you, you kind of, you know, fall in love with Tim Thomerson and and he his seems very his, likable. his characters in the movies because and the way he acts. I mean, I mean, they, they it's, he only acts one way, and that's badass. It's it's an action. Comedy, horror, science fiction. I mean, I mean, science fiction. As far as horror, there there is some well, f- good comedy, horror shots. There's some. There's some. I, I'm going. Why well, did they throw comedy in there? I mean, well, it's a funny because he's situation. A down, I know. I guess the situation is why they. It's a funny situation. Put it in, you know, comedy. But you know, uh, and who, who I don't even know who who directed this way. Some some big Samoan Albert Piun. I mean, he did the Captain America TV movies back in the day. Remember, like the, there were really? like two of them, the Captain America TV movies. Yeah. They're horrible. He They're, did. <laughs> they were terrible. <laughs> he did that. Yeah, he did that. You would remember that. And, Jesus, um, that's all, I looked at his filmography. That's all I remember. Okay, okay. I remember watching those. Captain and he America. He did this doll man. He, he's a master of doing things on the cheap. And it's oh yeah, this, I mean, movie. I, I more get, than Charles Band. I, yeah, Charles yeah. Band tries to make him look good. Right. Right. But uh, this is part of a series. Um, now it's lumped in with demonic toys, bad channels, um, and bad channels actually has a post-credit scene. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with Doll Man, but it, <laughs> we did. Didn't, didn't we do? We, we did, did bad sh- channels. We did bad channels. Yeah, yeah. Blue Oyster Cult did the soundtrack. Hell yeah. Um, or at least Buck Dharma did the music, and then there was like two Blue Oyster Cults. We were going to do a, a comment, full commentary on this, but we'll, we're going to get back to commentary. New equipment I stole. We're still figuring but, it out. Yeah, everything's been set up, <laughs> but <stole>. there's <laughs> your loot. Your no, loot. You were, you know, stealing cheesecakes from Cheesecake Factory. I'm going to the camera stores. Ted out all hours of the night. Smash. <laughs> but um, but go ahead. Yeah. Um, so they they did tie it in with uh. Demonic Toys by making Doll Man versus Demonic Toys a couple years later. Might have to do that soon, too. It's not very good. No. Well, we did do Demonic Toys. We've fun. done Bad Channels. We've done Doll... I guess we might as well, <laughs> since you know we've done them all. But it is technically a series. There's there, plenty of full moon movies there was out there, a, Ted, to do. There was a Doll Man Demonic Toys box set of DVDs from Full Moon at one time. I don't think really? they sell it like that anymore. Yeah. But it was a specific. The box collector's set. edition, right? You could still run buy out it. there and get it. It's still buy on eBay. Like well, bucks. don't run. Just run to your computer. What? Uh, <laughs> but uh, bad channels had that. If if we did a commentary on it, it had the um, the post credit scene with Doll Man, um, and you remember the alien was shrinking people down to you know yeah. the nurse. Even though they changed the name from Bad Channels to Doll Man versus Demonic Toys, it's the same character. Right, right. So that's how they all tie in together now. Fantastic, but you know that's what Charles Band likes to do, man. Have that big universe. I mean, I, I'm still dying to see that fabled Puppet Wars movie where it was going to have every, you know, oh. demonic toys, Puppet Master, well, Dolman, we'll, we'll, everybody. In we'll there. see how the. I think they've done it in like comic books yeah. and stuff, but not. not we'll like see this. how things work out with the Deadly Ten, which Blade, the Iron Cross. Mm-hmm. That trailer dropped. Just well the. The movie came out on, on Full Moon's website too. The, I haven't watched it yet. Three days ago, so oh, yeah, I've, I've just seen the trailer. Yeah, so 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 that just came out. I'm I'm curious to see how they do that. Uh, after, it looks so. I mean, after I the last movie, 
But I don't anyways. know if we're going to do a, a trailer reaction for it. I mean, I just, if we do, do it separate. But, I mean, I thought it looked okay. It looks interesting. I'll certainly watch it. It looked a little bit too <clears throat> gory for a normal Puppet Master movie. Okay. But um, I always watch a Puppet Master movie. Oh, well, everything's got to be a little bit more gory in 2020. Does but, it? Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like but you, you know what? Do have any style, any pizzazz? With, with Dow Man. Any snap of the pussy? With Dow Man, you were talking about um, doing things on the cheap. And, and a the little. One, the one thing you'll no- <laughs> the one thing you'll notice in shoelaces. In, yeah, yeah. The one thing you'll notice in Dow Man is, um, in order to, I mean, I don't think there was too many green screen effects and stuff. They they found locations that were uh, perfect for shooting at certain angles that would mm-hmm. make him look smaller than. You know he. You know I, th- that yeah, effect. I don't, know, I don't know if they use any forced perspective. Yeah, it, camera it, it, tricks. It, I think it was all just Gonzo. Yeah, you know, it, it was angles and, and, and location that or really point of view stuff. You know, yeah, like yeah. Here, you know, the person looks big here. Oh, now we see Dull Man, but he's standing next to this little thing. And, I mean, well, the ship thing was, uh, you know, where, where they got shots of him. You know, next to the ship. That was some stuff, ship, and all the people and were in and stuff like. That. Yeah, it was. It was pretty. Uh, pretty. The ship was kind of cool. I'm like going, I want that. that. That would be cool sitting over there on my shelf. Like, you know, bitch and toy mm-hmm. from the '80s. But the 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 other character that was on the planet with them at the beginning, Berg. Spurg. It's just a floating head. Floating head. Charles Band kind of likes decapitated heads to. And I don't know, you know. I know that guy. I can't remember his name. He's got a ton of credits, but the only thing I remember him in is in the David Lynch movie Wild at Heart. Where he's telling Nick Cage and Laura Dern's characters that, oh, they're in there making a pornographic movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's the, okay. And it, it, it's like him? one guy with two huge women. <laughs> yeah. And they're hogging, I guess. And that's the only movie I remember him from. And They're hogging. They're hogging. Oh, my God. I'm a big uh, guy. I'm allowed to say that. Oh, you're, well, you're What's a big wrong? guy. You can, you can talk about What's the thing about? guys do in college? Didn't you do that in college? Man, you go and you find a, you know, get, get a big chick drunk and... Ted's a big guy, so... Do he, some hogging. He could talk pretty much about the beginning of the movie then, too, so... Oh, oh, wow. Mm, because you really can't say... Why, only fat people can talk about fat people? Well, I mean, I, Ted, everything is off limits nowadays. You can't say much of nothing. Calling me fat but, is like calling me a white male. I'm, it's like, I already but it's, know it. Hey, <laughs> when we talk about things, it's, it's in... Uh, it's because it's in the movie, and we have yeah. to talk about it. It's, it's a big part. Like the beginning of we the movie. we got to talk about it. The beginning of the movie, that's kind of a, a, a very important part. Well, not important, but... Well, it, it uh, plays a role in what yeah. happens. Cause, um, but uh, what, how does the movie start right. off, Ted? Right. This, is always, you, this unless, is always my job. Unless, unless you got something else to throw in there. Uh, little no. tidbits. Tidbits? Um, yeah, little tidbits. You know, there wasn't really a whole lot of... That's a pit, elusive a pit behind what? the scenes trivia on this movie. <laughs> now, I mean, I don't got a no. I don't. There was not a whole lot of you know behind the scenes drama that I can add to this to make oh. it a little bit more juicy. Well, well there was the the um, one thing with Tim Thomerson and Charles Band where he they were talking about the movie and the story and how he came up with it. Um, and Tim Thomerson was at Charles Band's castle, mm-hmm. and he went because right, he's got a castle in Europe. Oh yeah, very. Awesome. So they made movies there. Yeah, they made uh, the, the Castle Freak there. Yes. And and Fear, what's that? Fear? Lurking. I don't know. If Lurking, Lurking Fear? fear or uh, anyways. Meridian. You know, that was a pretty good movie, too, Lurking Fear. That it's was all right. Yeah, I, I like Castle Freak better. It was better than... Well, I like Castle Freak better, too, but uh, Lurking Fear was underrated. But, um, no, Tim Thomerson was at uh, Charles Band's castle, his house, and they were talking about, um, you know, Dalman and... and, and you know the movie itself and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and 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 he came dressed in the trench coat and everything, ready, like he ready did. to work. Well, I mean, he was buttoned up, mm-hmm. you know. It's um, Tim Thomerson hits the ground running, but um, well, I mean, he was already in character. I don't think he had clothes on underneath. Is what oh, Charles Band says. Yeah. You know, under the didn't he have to like karate chop him in the Adam's apple or something to get uh, him off him? I don't know. I, he did fall down the steps and hurt himself, and that's how Charles Band his found, shoes fell off. Well, no, that's how. Yes, they did. Because he had flip flops. Yep. But that's how Charles Band knew he was naked. Because as he was flipping, his his bottom part 
flew open and it, the, oh yeah, you could see they were flopping along the way. Flying but g- getting back to the story, because <clears throat> when you get older, it gets down to about your knees. Oh yeah, it can drag. Yeah, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I mean, he, he's sitting there really talking to Charles Band about the, you know, he's like, yeah, that's it. Really does sound like, you know, a pretty cool concept idea. You know, they were putting it all mm-hmm. together. Um, Charles said he said I got backers for this man, right. and um, so. But he, he, mill into he, it. he said, but but what would make it, you know, better than what I'm talking about, the story, like, because they were going over and stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, Tim Thomerson, he, he said, um, uh, <laughs> he said. <laughs> what did he say? He said, how about if I was um, six inches tall? He's 13 inches. Well, I mean, you have to be small because well, it's called doll man. And that's what Charles Band said. He said, he said, how about this? We'll make you, <laughs> we'll make you thirteen inches tall on Earth, mm-hmm. and um, that uh, so they came up with a deal. The deal. <laughs> it, it, it was a handshake deal. Ted, that was a terrible story, wasn't it? He just wings it. I mean, it's not bad but for it, just but, winging it. But uh, we don't script anything. Well, Charles, that's Charles. That's a true yeah. story. So Charles I Charles doesn't script anything, man. They just get out there. <laughs> he goes, "Let's shoot this." He goes, "You're on a planet." Right, you're on a planet. <laughs> you're on a planet. And you're going to be 13 inches tall. Right. Um, Man, he's just like, let's shoot this fucker. <laughs> it's 19. Okay, go ahead. All right. So okay. it's the planet Arturos, which is bright. I don't know. It's dark red, yet their atmosphere looks the same as ours. And uh, <laughs> it looks right. exactly like Earth, except for there's like some Blade Runner kind of flying cars. Well, Ted. All planets look the same. I know, but they wear the exact same clothes we do, <laughs> except they spell laundromat wrong. Oh, they actually spelled it laundry mat. It's laundromat. Oh, did they? Yeah, I they didn't catch laundry. that. You don't know. Oh, how to spell. good. <laughs> laundromat. It's so not, there's it's a, not DRY because no. you dry <laughs> stuff there. Laundry mat. It's laundromat. You, you laundromat. dry stuff there. Yeah. Just you know, just something I noticed. You know, and there's a criminal. Right, there's a hostage situation. Oh. There's regular police. Oh, there's a hostage Evidently, situation. they have the same kind of rankings that we have here on Earth. Yeah, one through ten. Same language yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a guy holding hostage um, some shapely women. And well, look at you being very uh, political. Kids. They're portly kids. Yeah, it's funny that they, yeah, they were. And he's got, he's in ten. between them all. And, he's, well, and, he's in and, the midst of this. And I questioned why. Ball. Yes, I questioned why were they all in that lawn dry mat? Uh, I think he. Did they? Was it a family? I don't it know. It was an awfully big family. I'm not really sure. But out, out of the darkness comes Brick Barto. And he, well, the, all the police, they're, they're yeah, all they don't out know there what to do, arguing with well, the, the he want whatever this. Crazy kook wants. He's got his gun and everything. He, uh, the mayor says, Bartos give him whatever he wants. Suspended. Because it's a yeah. re-election. You know, the election's next week. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not going to have a bunch of fat dead women, you know, <laughs> being on TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. That's something what he like says. that, he says. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but, you know, Brick Barto, who is suspended because of a, Previous, a, a violent yeah. incident. I guess he before. kills way too many people trying to he's, save he's like the Charles situation. Branson. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Brick to save you, I'm everyone. going to kill 50 people. Right, right. And that's what he does. In, yeah, yeah, okay. Absolutely. He's the Charles Bronson of, of Full Moon. Yeah, the Charles Bronson of Full Moon. Pretty much. Um, he he Good shows up on the scene like, Yo, Brick, I'm glad you're here, but aren't you suspended? And he's like, what's the big deal? I'm going to go and do my laundry. This is where I do my laundry. And he, he did. He's right in the laundry, like, man. He's like, Brick, what are you going to do? I'm going to wash my whites in hot, and I'm going to do a warm rinse, or whatever he says. And he does. He walks in there. He's got his laundry. He's putting his quarters in. He's yeah, he, he's, his, he's ignoring he just throws the whole bag in. He doesn't even open the bag. He just throws the whole bag he's in. He's ignoring what's going on. Yeah, the guy's right there, you know, just watching. Can't believe what he's doing. Yeah. but And it's like some tied up, and there's like a few shirts or something. It's tied up. He, he doesn't even untie he it. Just, he just drops it in, yeah. Right, that's not going to get clean. And then he gets some... Container out that's evidently the laundry powder. Oh, yeah, it puts like six, and seven, eight scoops six, in there. Six, seven, eight scoops. The thing's gonna weigh And it looks like itself. beads, like, like you know, salt for well, the maybe, ground maybe or something like that. Maybe that's the difference between their world and ours. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Could be. I'll I mean, give them that. 
Okay. And um, yeah, so now he's going to pull his his little shenanigans. You know, he he whips out his his piece, which is a Kruger blaster, and the, even one of the little kids says, "That's a Kruger blaster, the most powerful handgun in the universe." Is that an American gun? I don't think so. Not not on Arturos. Okay. Um, and like, that's that's right, fat boy. That's what he says. <laughs> he's very rude right. to the like, kids and, and And the guy's like, yeah, I'm going I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna shoot him. He's like, Go ahead. I'm gonna shoot her. It's gonna go through her, through you, and through the lady in behind you. <laughs> that causes the, the one lady in the front to, to faint out. and pass yeah. out, fall backwards, and he ends up getting sandwiched between two of these big ladies. And for some Usually people, Ted for would some people, love that. I mean, yeah, I mean but, I'm, I'm you know, down. Yeah. You know, I I, I like them thicker than a bowl uh-huh. of oatmeal, personally. <laughs> and um, I, I, that, that ain't going to lie, any of y'all. And uh, <laughs> bones hurt. Oh. And uh, <laughs> Bones hurt. That's right. I, I prefer curves. But yeah, yeah. And uh, Sandwich the guy thing. ends up yeah, getting killed. Or no, no, he doesn't get killed. But he does get caught. However, what I, what I was mistaken is later on when he's at home... Yeah. They're adver- they're saying on the TV that you know renegade police officer Brick Barto was responsible for the deaths of all these. And he's they're saying on the news that he killed them. Yeah, and he didn't technically but, he didn't kill anybody. No, nobody either. was killed. But the, but that whoever that the mayor was said you know he's don't sus- he's not suspended now he's he's fired. Fire, him. fire yeah, him. So, so whatever. But uh, yeah, and, and then we Brick. then we flip right to uh, him being out in nowhere's land. You know, he looks, sort of looks, looks, looks kind of like the same. He gets kidnapped by some, right, by right, some, right. Uh, ne- needle to the you know neck and, and yes, and uh, gets the, the head the kidnapped headless, by uh, uh, yeah. The, what's his Spurg? Spurg. Yeah. But and so, like we said, Spurg is just this floating head. It's on some kind of a mechanized I've got a flotation floating head. Yeah. device. And what has happened is throughout. Brick Bartos and Spurg's encounters in the past. Bar- Brick's pretty much blown all his bits off. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the law you have to keep, you know, if yeah. you're able to keep the criminal alive, you keep them alive. So it's just a head now. Now he's just a head. Yeah. <laughs> and, he's t- and he's talking about, you know, he's doing the usual villain thing. You know, I've got a dimensional displacement bomb. <laughs> yeah. I want five million ions or, or whatever he wants. Right, right. And, and I love what he says, Tim Thomas, and he's like, you, you want, you're not going to get it. He's like, why not? He's like, you'll, he's like, I'll blow everything up. He's like, no, you'll fuck it up. You always <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> Perfect line. I loved when, loved when he told him that, you'll man. Always, you he's always like, fuck it up. You're a screw up. yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, he meanwhile, does, he's got like fifty people yeah. with him. His whole oh, gang. and he pulls out that big gun. They never really explain this, and he uses something to get it away from him. It's not. Yeah. Barton's got. He's able to use the force. Yeah. Uh, he's got some kind of kind mag- of some kind of magnetic thing there, which is how I suspect uh, the chick from the new fan fiction Star Wars movies was able to use the force. She's got Probably, some fake yeah. magnet there yeah. that does it because yeah. that's yeah. what I suspect. Her, her her power wasn't that great. She didn't have the chloride. What's that called? Medical Medichlorid. Those, I don't even know what ahead. those are. A- anyway, there's only three of those movies. But so yeah, evidently it was are. some magnetic. I hear that word. But it was a magnetic. It, it, it connected him to the gun, which was good. Because because maybe he, when you buy that gun, you get that implanted. I love that the gun. Maybe when we all get that COVID shot, you know, <laughs> when they force us to, maybe that's what we'll all get implanted with a little magnet. That's when I go underground. Yeah, that's when you're going underground when it's, when it's mandated. Yeah, I'm gonna go underground. You'll be forced. Um, there'll always or, be or a they'll, rebellion. They'll put you in a camp. But uh, hard yeah, labor. So, so bas- <laughs> basically, he goes crazy. Brick, brick. And um, kills all the guys. Uh, yeah, he shoots them all, man. Kapow, kapow. Yeah, kapow. boom, boom, boom. Fifty. And, dead. and this gun, don't forget, at least on Arturos. Yes. This gun, and when you get shot with it, you don't get shot. I mean, you get blown apart. Yeah. So there are some cool effect shots there. All well, right. there's the one guy though that just gets it like in the side. That's and, later. And goes that's back. A, that's later. Oh, on sorry. Arturos, oh, this will blow you away. That's right. It'll do damage on Earth, but... I wonder if it's because they're all full size. Well, it has to do with the ratio. They, you yeah, know, they're bigger. Right, so it right, 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 so right, 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 right. Spurg's right, going right, to right, right. get away. He's Spurs? Spurg. Oh, Spurg. With Spurg. I had to look that up because I was... Not, as many, I've seen this, like I said, I've seen this movie probably a half dozen times. I couldn't remember his name. Now I'll never forget it. Whisperg. And... Uh, 
he, he escapes the planet's atmosphere. Somehow Brick's got a ship there. He it hops is, in. He's following him, yeah. They, somehow he knows how to pilot a spacecraft. There's no space helmets, nothing. It's funny, this time, Spurg decides, hey... I'm going to Earth this time. Well, or getting he was out of was going. He was trying well, to escape, yeah, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. ended up hitting some energy bands, right, right, which transported them across the universe, across the universe to Earth. Earth, yes, specifically South Bronx, South New Bronx, York. yeah. And I love when we when they do land, and then there's there's this big montage. Of the South Bronx in you got that good late eighties. You know, I mean, I know it's ninety. I know it's ninety one, but you know, bum, 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 bum. you know, they probably filmed this eighty nine ninety. Looks whatever. like the beginning of like a NYPD Blue episode or Hill yeah, Street Blues. But <laughs> but even worse. I mean, they, they they showed very much how grimy and oh, and, and grime. dirty the streets were and and graffiti everywhere. Cholos everywhere. Uh, yeah, and 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 hookers. You know. Oh yeah. Line the streets. Prostitutes. You know? Yeah, and so you know that time that. We we got we got a couple of prostitutes and uh, what? Remember what happened? Oh, yeah. So we were. Um, he was afraid. So we were. Afraid. So we were. So we just went on some bumper cars. The carnival, yeah. Well, yeah. We went to the carnival. So we went to these people. Like I don't know what the fuck to believe. What these fuck? <laughs> but they did, yeah. Prostitutes, but, but, uh, cholos, yeah, no, yeah. And gang then they, bangers. then they flip right to. The the kind of it looked like the same shot location as our churls. Oh yeah, they right, totally right, used right before he left. It's, they used the same it's like he left there and they landed on Earth, but the same no place. No diggity, no doubt. They you know, the except they put a couple buildings in the background that showed See, it was Earth. When I saw it as a teenager, yeah, you know, or, or, or tween or whatever yeah. I was then, I didn't notice that. But right, yeah, right, a little right. bit more discriminating now. Uh, I'd, say, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, as he comes down and crashes, you know, he's, he's out and he's the little ship on the rocks. Um, we're introduced to uh, Debbie. Debbie. Um, she's a young mother. Single mother. Single mother. Who's, single Hispanic who's, mother. Who's, who's just trying who's to... decided to name her son Kevin? <laughs> hey, a very Spanish name. Kevin, you get over here, Kevin. You know, but yeah, I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, I do Don't understand we, I, what you're isn't saying. Isn't our introduction to her when she's walking down the street with a friend and? Well, what's she supposed to call him, Hector? What's wrong with that, Luis? Well, I mean, you know, Julio. It's '91. They start, you know. Let's. You can call anybody anything. Perks and dicks. Um, but uh, you know, Kevin. Yeah, a, a, a single young <laughs> Hispanic mother with a That's young right. kid, and she's really and against all the gang banging. Going whose kid on. is looks like he? How old's Kevin look? Like he's I don't know, 12? eight, nine, 10, eight, nine, 11, ten, twelve. So between eight and twelve. So she's got to be okay, maybe eight twenty-eight. So, okay, I guess it works out. Well, uh, she probably got knocked up when she's fourteen. Uh, so South Bronx, because she, 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 yeah. she admits in the movie that she thought you know the gang bangers were they were the the Cholos, man, they were, they were the ones, they were the hottest thing there was. So yeah. she was probably hanging around with them. Striving to be with them. You one know, of them. Thinking, one of the gang. Yeah, that's right. And then probably, you know, so what, what the up, problems we have here. You gave know. it up to some guy. And, you know, I had you know. to get you out of jail a few times. You know. They keep coming after me. I don't know why, man. You always wore that, like, handkerchief around you. You thought you Maybe had... that's it. Maybe it's that ski mask I wear sometimes. I don't know. People get nervous. And a cowboy hat, too. Yeah, or I'll put that... Uh, what was with the cowboy hat? I went through a phase. What were you guys called? I forget. They're, what? They're, they're not over there no more, are they? We were, we were called the, the, the Shadow Riders, man. <laughs> that's right. The Easy Riders. Is that what you guys were called? No, yeah, yeah, the Shadow Riders. The and, Shadow Riders. I, I think you only lasted about a month, we, right? We used to rumble with the Regulators. <laughs> Yeah. That was the other gang. In only town lasted that wore the cowboy. Only hats. lasted a month though, because yep. you you argued with um what was it Demetrius? Demetrius, because um, you, know, you were put, because you put all that oil down on his driveway and he slipped and I, fell. I, broke had to, his I had to get the hell out of that area. I had problems there. Spoke. <laughs> <laughs> they say you dirtying up the streets, dear Ted. What are you doing? Get man, out you of here! Put all this oil on my <laughs> man. I, I get you breaking my hip, man. You know, and then, now what they do? Uh, you know. Well, he got me but, back because he ended up, you know, the banana peels. It, it, he, he dumped no, the, banana banana peel peels, oh, the banana peels. Oh, that was the dried other guy. corn cobs, like 
Maybe, dry, oh, oh. maybe two years worth of dried corn cobs just dumped on, in, in my driveway. Yeah. Couldn't get my car out. Couldn't my kid couldn't get the, her tricycle. But remember, the you, they were out there for so long. You you were rolling on it, and it fixed your back. When you put a few of them down and you roll on them, yeah, like rollers, that, that was that was pretty good. And then in the hot sun, you know, the leftover dried kernels were popping. <laughs> it was terrible. Birds had pigeons everywhere, Cause, shitting all over the Because it house. was middle of July and it was, it was 90 degrees out. Yeah. Pop! You'd just be out there sitting out in the, in, in the, on the deck. And you, and thought, they were, you thought it was a drive-by. Well, at first, you know, I, you know, I, yeah. hit, you know, I was like, hit the was deck. Because like, I was on the deck. And I said, hit the deck. Yeah, you said, it's the regulators. Yep, it's the regulators. But Get that, down. But really, it was the, the shadow riders that were coming after you. Well, you know, like I said, but, um, I had problems. I had to get the hell out of that area. He's in a wheelchair now, ain't he? Oh, good. I put him Demetrius, in Demetrius? Yeah. I put him in it. Well, they, they fixed the hip, but then he... Um, well, know. because we were going to have a sit-down. We were going to have a meeting, yeah. and I went to go you know, pull his chair for him to sit down, and when he went yeah. to go sit down, I pulled it out all the way, and he hit the ground and pff, broke his back. So, so... So he's like this. So... <laughs> Thanks, Ted. <laughs> well, you do basketball games with him, though, now. Yeah, but I always win because I'm on my feet. Yeah, that's he right. can't ball you know, against me. Because it's one-on-one. Yeah. So we're introduced to Debbie. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Tell I mean. Hispanic name is and Debbie. What's the, what's the na- name of the gang that comes? J- Jackie Earl, Earl Haley. Jackie you, you got me He's off. called Braxton. Braxton. What yeah. kind of name is that for a gangbanger? I, I don't know. Braxton. That. Well, his last name's Red. Braxton Red. It'd be better if it was Red Braxton. Yeah. All right, Red. Tony okay. Braxton. No. Red, that sounds like a gang. She can, sweet, Yo, Red. She can sing me sweet tunes. If you say so. Yeah, and that lovely voice of hers. Is it? Oh, Tony Braxton? I don't even know who that is. Oh, the, her, let me just, her back comes like this, and then we got something going on. It's she's beautiful. She's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal? No, she's in shape. Oh, I'm not interested then. I like my chick's out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> with heart disease. <laughs> I like him out of shape with heart disease. Clogged arteries. Lo- lost hair. Losing hair. Dis- Gotta be partially bald. lower extremities from bad circulation. <laughs> uh, from the knees down, I like them purple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to the movie. I like when they wear those Ted toes. <laughs> okay, so... so <laughs> Jack, Jack here, Earl Haley. Braxton Red comes, and, and he's coming after Debbie. Right? Well, okay. Or what's here, going on? Here's, here's what happens. Tell me what here's happens. Here's what happens. Jesus. Because you did just watch this movie today, right? Yeah, and uh, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. I watched it yesterday, too. Or, no, wait. Did I watch it yesterday or the day before? I don't freaking remember. The day before yesterday. See? I have a good remembery. Um, well, what the they, um She's walking down the street with her friend, and she sees a drug deal going on, and she's trying to clean up the neighborhood for her right. son. So she starts whooping his ass. Oh, that's right. All right? And then there's a... Oh. Then there's like a... Uh, she a, beats the living crap out of him. She's throwing, him, get a, out of throwing a rock at Don't him and everything, dealing man. drugs in my neighborhood. You know, she's got the bar of soap in a, yeah. in a sock and whooping in a, his in ass. In a pillowcase. And uh, then there's a scene in the like in the school, which is where they're having like a... like a Oh, what do you want to call it? Like a block watch meeting or something yeah. with the mayor. Right. Or, and, or chief police, whoever it is. Yeah. I think it's chief police. got to clean up these And you streets. notice how the room's just really dark? Like they don't even have any lights on? Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, basically, it comes off as, you know, the cops aren't really going to do anything to help clean up this neighborhood. You know, they don't have the manpower to, to do it. And no. So, um, word gets back kind of that, you know, she banged up, you know, one of his guys um, when she's walking. I don't know if she's coming home from work or whatever. A few of those guys, you know, they recognize her. You know, she's the one that, you know, beat up Hector. Or, or Zorro, whoever yeah, it was. Zorro, yeah. And um, they, they're going to torture. She's walking through the junkyard where, like, half the movie takes place in this, and, in this, I don't know what you would call it, it, it just this wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> of, like of, a dump site of rocks or, yeah, barren. Like, it looks like what, you know, dead. Los Angeles was going to look like in a couple years after the riots. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. what it looks like. But, yeah, yeah. They, hey, you know, and this movie's a little bit of a precursor to that because you've got... You know, you've got the the crime going on. I mean, forget Boys in the Hood and Menace Society. This is the real hood movie. 
All right, this yeah. is the real movie about taking care of business. This in the is movie. where it all started, Dial Man. All right, forget all them movies. Forget all them gangster pictures. This one, we're taking care of business in the hood, old school. <laughs> if you say so. I'm putting Doll Man up there, yeah. Letters to Society. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, those, gr- those group of Did, gang did I make members. that all work? Yeah, yeah sure, so, yeah. So they're going to... Now, meanwhile, you know, Doll Man and Spurg, they, they've crashed in different areas yeah. of this. And um, they don't really realize what's up yet. Yeah. All right, because they've just crashed. But they're about to, like, pour some gas on her and burn her, you know. They're not going to rape her. I think they're going to burn her alive. Yeah. Well, and, which and, I think is a little cold-blooded. Well, in that scene, which got me, I'm looking at it, I'm like, on because the idiot goes and grabs it and comes back, and he's going like he's this. He's done all over everybody. Everybody but her. They're all, every motherfucker in that group is going to go up and flames. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and, and the one guy was saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> that, that probably but, was, like, him for real saying that. Yeah, because... You know, it probably wasn't in the script, you know, say, where, what are you doing, yeah. what are you doing? Like, fuck, what are you doing? Ted, because it wasn't getting... Man, he ain't cutting. <laughs> it wasn't getting on the girl, it was getting on everybody else. But anyways, yeah, that... Right. He's going to burn her, but then, yeah, Brick, Brick pops, pops out, out of, his, of the spaceship. Yeah, yeah. And uses his gun, and it doesn't blow them I to I love pieces. how he goes, oh, man, giants. Yeah, I hate giants. I hate giants. So there should be a prequel, because we know he's encountered giants before. Yeah. I need to see that story. I need to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, Probably yeah. just like Earth, though. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you were in Philadelphia! I don't know. Yeah, maybe he landed in a different place. <laughs> I don't know. And he, he blows two of those guys away. Uh, bad enough. I mean, kills them. Doesn't yeah. blow them apart. But it does kill them. One gets away. Yeah. And lives to tell the tale to, uh, to uh, Braxton. Yeah. Like Madonna would say it. He was told to live to tell the tale at close range. But anyways, mm-hmm. um, that was terrible. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Most but Madonna songs are. A great movie, though, at close range. If you say so. Uh, have you seen it? It's not my kind of movie. Have you seen it? No. <sighs> but I judge movies before I see them. <laughs> Wrong attitude. No, it's the right attitude. Ted, I save myself a lot of it's time. It's a fantastic movie. One of the best. Is it better than The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? No. You can't even have that sort of pause. I mean, come on. <laughs> then what's the point of watching it? Okay, so... so <laughs> the, the, the one surviving guy who's got a gash in his stomach... Yeah, I think he got hit with something. Goes back to the club where... The hideout, yeah, wherever their, their base of operations Falls on are. the pool table and Jack... Jack Hero, Oh, yeah. Braxton. Braxton. When he gets back, that's what he's pissed about. He's pissed. My fucking pool table. You know how much it's going to cost to replace that felt? Yeah, but evidently he's got something or likes Debbie. I mean, maybe they got got some history from back in the day. Soft spot for her. You know, he knows her. They know each other. Yeah. And maybe that puts him at odds. You know, maybe she was friends with them back in the day, but now she's kind of, you know, against their lifestyle, but, you know, maybe out of respect for. Whatever, but getting everybody you know, together, gang loyalty, it's, it's yeah. you know, it's tight. But decides to get everybody together and They're go back and get the, to get this uh, brick, this Dow man. I love how the guy uh. was saying, he, "No man, he's he's like this tall, like yeah, twelve yeah. minutes." He's a Dow, and you know, then they start calling him Dow man. But you know, they're they're like, no way, right? And so. That's Debbie has taken Dollman home. You know, she sees him like she's all in the face of the camera, and you know, wow, are you for real? Am I high? Am at I first, stoned? At first, it's like Kevin thought that was a toy for him. You know, right? I mean? So she takes him home, and that's hilarious seeing her carry yeah, thousand this thousand dollar toy. Yeah. So yeah, and then and then um, they go back to look for this thing, and that's where they find the other guy. They find Spurg. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, oh, if you help me, I'll. I'll Maybe help I'll you. Help I you. have. I'll help you control this world. He has some kind of bomb. Yeah, you're like interdimensional. Man, I, could, I could run this whole town. I, I don't know how he could run the whole town with a bomb. I, I don't know how Jack Arrow Haley could run the South Bronx. I mean, just he don't. He, anyway. he don't look like he's too skilled. No, no, he don't look like he thinks more than his, one his, step his, ahead. His, his acting's pretty good in here. I mean, he's he's, a, he's an alright actor. <laughs> Did I go too far? Okay. He does the best with what he's given. He didn't write the damn script. Well, right. Yeah. He accepted the role and Mm -hmm. made it as meaty as he could. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was better in Bad News Bears, though. Better in Bad News Bears? Oh, come on. Bad News Bears? Well, of course he was. What's better than the Bad News Bears? Uh A League of Their Own? 
No. <laughs> a League of Their Own is not better no, than that. No, I'm Bears. joking, guys. When you got not Walter Matthau, not even Not even close. close. I saw but, that movie one time. I would never watch it again. You saw it one time? League of Their Own. Well, I'm a, you know, there's some oh, chicks in there. Tom Hanks ain't made a good movie since The Burbs. Great movie. Anyways, um, so, so yeah. And the, if I the, saw him, I'd tell him straight to his face in cursive. So yeah, they're in the, the apartment. He's he's trying to, I guess, he's looking through pamphlets to, you know. <laughs> trying to figure out how to fix the fix ship. Fix the ship, you know. And, uh, you know, as big as that ship is compared to him, I'm like going, he's always just sitting in that front seat. I'm like going, there's got to be a compartment in the back. Like a, a bedroom or you know something he can toilet, you know yeah be in or, but he he just sits I love in that thing and that's everybody. Comes with a manual like a car, <laughs> right? <laughs> the VA seven six. How can he even tell what's wrong with it? The VA seven six one is is if you take this part. Yeah, no, it's 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 interesting, but yeah, it's not that. But interesting. I, I, well, it's not interesting at all. No, it's um, not interesting at all. So everybody comes in, they're admiring the ship and him oh, and the yeah, little the kid, guy. Yeah, because when brings, the kid finds out, he starts telling everybody in the damn building about yeah, it. Yeah, and they're all looking at him, and it's the, funny the that... The Inquirer doesn't come out, nobody comes nobody out. Nobody comes out and checks. They, they follow every story about Bat Boy, but they don't come out. Well, they the probably all went back to their apartments, and they uh, all talk and go, Hi, everybody, you just about... Okay, so... Wait, that's the wrong language. I don't know. I, I can't speak Spanish, so I don't know. You can't speak Spanish. But they're all like probably high. And how did you talk to that one prostitute one time? I don't know. She understood me though. She must have just been screwing. Up. She must have been high. She uh, could have. Her been. name was Esmeralda. Well, she, that was her name for that she night. She had she had the lump, the one with the lump, right? Well, it's because she had a fake leg. Yeah. Well, that's what you were cruising for was, that night. It was a mannequin leg. Like. You know, you were looking for a lady with. Okay. Leg. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, secrets, secrets, you know. Right, um, enough about the prostitutes. So, um, what happens next? It's, is the movie over? Yeah, movie's over. Um, hmm, that was, it was good. Movie. I mean, there's some scenes, that, oh. you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yada, yada, yada you get to the end. I mean, yeah, I mean, to basically, you know, it's, 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 there's, there's a few back and forths. Yeah, I mean, basically that gang by Braxton, Jack, her, her, Earl Haley. Oh, we're going to go to war. It's trying to get the Dow Man. And this is the right. whole crux they, of the movie. They, and They hear the words and, that and, she's got him. Okay. Yeah, and so spur, they go to her place. Yeah. And, of course, Brick ends up blasting all of them. Yeah. Um, but he kills the others. Again, doesn't you know disintegrate them like before. But it, yeah. it, it, the gun is enough to kill. Right. And he wounds... Braxton, Jackie Earl Haley, yeah. wounds him pretty bad in the gut, mm-hmm. and Spurg fixes him. Yeah, he has this evidently way we find to out later fix it's a temporary him, yeah. fix. Well, unless it's because because as soon as he f- helps cure his wound there, mm-hmm. um, Braxton takes and well, smashes. Well, Spurg says, you know, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna do things the way I want. And he you says, know. yeah, and he says, no. Braxton yeah. says, no, and, and it smashes him, oh, man. It's so cool. And the like, bits blah. and blood and everything else. It's like a squash and a roach. And from that point, he starts bleeding again. Right, shortly and after And you wonder that. if it's because he's dead or if he just didn't, because it doesn't always work, I don't think. He, mm. he said that, too. He says it might work or something like that. Well, either way, you know. um, it's an oh shit day for Braxton because he's he's bleeding out again. Yeah, he's gonna and, die. Yeah, you know, like yeah, we're going to war. We're going to war. Gets the fucking doll, man. Who do you think? Yeah, and basically, <laughs> which that's, is like one of the dumbest lines in the whole. Uh, movie. I know. <laughs> but basically, that's what ensues is kind of like a little fight between yeah, they, them they and Debbie. the doll man. Yeah, they, they kidnap they, Debbie. Doll man smoking that like, cigarette on a rock, talking le- to leaps out of the Braxton, window. Uh, yeah, and on the car, and then you see it, it's like a little GI Joe yeah. doll hanging on <laughs> from the car driving around. That's a good. <coughs> oh, you're oh, right. COVID. You all right? <coughs> okay. I got the Rona. Where's my mask? Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a uh, th- that's a funny scene with the little GI Joe doll hanging on the car driving away. That's yeah. the funniest hell. But um, yeah, yeah, ends up taking care of the gang. You know, I mean. Busts a nut all over them. Busts a nut all over them. <laughs> and uh, he, I guess he's basically there to stay. I mean, they even make a little joke at the end about, you know, hey, does size matter? And she was making a little joke with one of her girlfriends at work, like, I'd love to meet a 13-inch man. 
be like, well, they just haven't met Dino. But that it was you funny. Are a bright shining star. <laughs> it was bright. It was funny though that yeah he did say that you know, are you into smaller men? But well, yeah. into smaller men. I mean that's a little too small. But, but th- this is this is the movie about taking care of crime Business. in your neighborhood. Yeah. When there's crime in the hood, when you got cholos running around. But the, the stars. very end. I mean, uh, to conclude. I mean the. They conclude with Debbie coming up to him, and it's like kind of a far scene. And there's just like a little him. They were like, probably actually standing about half a mile. Apart. Blowing in the wind. It's it's kind of funny. And yeah, credits roll, and 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 pretty much that's it. I don't think. Well, we also have to say that to pad the runtime, yeah. there's five minutes of highlight reels at the end of the movie, showing clips of the movie that you already watched to pad the movie on another five minutes. Right. While right. music plays. And, well, that's a that's a that's thing. a full moon trick, right? That's a well, and full moon's trick is always to extend that opening scene oh too, the credits. God. And you know, who's, I'll tell you what, yeah. Ginger Dead Man. I think the opening credits are about twelve minutes. Twelve long. minutes long. Yeah. Oh my God. God. It's it's on rail. Yeah. I mean, come on. Just just like really Tad, that is like You don't have to make much. the movie longer. Just put it out, make it good. You go too far. I do. Oh my god. Mm. Jeez. Have you been to the valley recently, Ted? It's so cool. They got I like a, to go to the mall and all the cute shit. They got a new mall down there. <laughs> they got suede hush puppies you would die for. In the suede, it gets wet. No problem. How? Two 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 dollar hush puppy. Two dollar hush puppy polish. Two dollar hush puppy polish. Yes. We're suede. We're getting ruined. <laughs> and you can paint the outside of your house with it. Oh well. See. Keep the rain from coming in. Dual purpose. I was a little disappointed f- that oh. Richard Band didn't do the music to this movie. Yeah. What kind of full moon movie doesn't have Richard? He, 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 he can't. Do, he can't do all the movies. I think he should have scored Lord of the Rings, those Star Wars. Oh, movies, he scored. Oh, Close Encounters. Yeah, he should have done all those movies. Uh, yeah. he could have done the Jaws thing better than John Williams. Dun, 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 two two fucking notes, whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, I, th- I think he Richard <laughs> could have had like a theme song, like Eye of the Tiger or something like. No, that. he did. Wasn't Richard Banny did come up with um the Jaws kind of a Jaws thing <clears> where. <throat> He go. The shark is coming to get me. Yeah, see. The shark is coming, and they said that's that way gets you moving. Two eighties, even though it was, it was seventy five. It, it's, it's too avant garde. <laughs> that's futuristic. It's too futuristic. Yeah. They said, yeah, no, you, you can't sing the Jaws theme. It's got to be a. Mm-hmm. See, that, mm-hmm. that's why I get disappointed. You know how they came up with that? Sh- uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it was the noise he made when he was pushing out poop. No, they were on set and they were filming, and Steven Spielberg said, "What, what, what the hell is that? What the, what the hell?" And here there was a short in the power pole over there, right Jesus, next to him. Jesus, that's all it was. It was going, mm-hmm. just humming. Mm-hmm. And so he went to but John in that Williams way, that and said, and, and, and I they, want something like that. Mm-hmm. Didn't you see the behind the scenes? I the, don't watch that. Ted, in the new, the Criterion edition, I watched extras. In the Criterion Edition, they have the actual footage. I mean, they they forked this guy up like what is it, like thirty feet to the top of the pole where it's going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he's filming. I mean, he's 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 got his microphone there. He's, he's going like this. Yeah, and it, it, it taped it, and it, it, the rest is history. I don't know. See you guys Hard next week. Oh wait, um, oh what? Well, if you want to. No, 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 no. You got anything else to say? Do I, have any? I got a lot of things to say, but I don't know if I can express myself you in can one just... syllable words no? for everybody out there to understand me. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. You know, because I'm uh-huh. a, I'm one of them high intellects. You're you're, you're very deep. Oh, I'm deep. But, so Dow Man was it was an I'll uh, give it a right I'll give it a four out of five stars. What? <laughs> <laughs> You said I like my son there for a second. What? <laughs> what? I hate to say, I give it a 4 out of 10. I mean, this, this, of, is, this is pretty low on the list of full moons I've watched. It's fun. Recently. But uh, it's not something you're going to revisit a lot. Oh, this, this the it's last... It's got some good lines. I hate urban to, fucking renewal. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's, it's the last time I'm going to ever watch Dial Man. 
I, I mean, unless there's a reason for me to watch it, I probably wouldn't have even watched it again for this because I've already seen it a bunch <laughs> right. of times. Yeah, well, because I, mean, I also went through a big... That was never really one of the ones I rented. Yeah. All right? But, like, when Dollman vs. Demonic Toys came yeah. out, yeah, okay, well, I had to rent them all because i got to watch them all over again. And then, for a while, I got into collecting Full Moon movies. I don't know why. That was crazy of me because most of them are horrible. Mm. Um but, you know, I have the good ones. You're a collector. I was a collector, and I was mm. I was collecting them for a while when they started putting movies out. That was your name in the... Um, the collector. The, the Shadow Riders, the collector. The collector. You had it on the what? back of your... Um, that's right. Your windbreaker. But that was for... Because that's what you guys wore. That was for Chubby Honeys. <laughs> you guys wore... Uh, uh, so we didn't have Cowboy hats and windbreakers. We had horses. Uh, yeah. You know, so, I mean, there's no bitch seat on the... Yeah. You know, like on a motorcycle, so... Mm. But if I got one, I usually put it right in front of me. Right. You know, I just we take the saddle off and ride bareback. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's what I like. That's good. That's mm. the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Like so. Uh, so Doll Man, not not so horrible, but it's not the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's not even the good, the bad, and the ugly of Doll Man movies, because uh, there's other movies with little people in them. Um, like Freaks, that movie's a little bit better. <laughs> There's a movie called Dolls. Totally different. Yeah. There's a good full moon movie called Ooga Booga, which unfortunately we're not allowed to do. <laughs> because I, I just, I can't do it. And Ted, <laughs> Ted wants to do Ooga Booga. It is a good movie, but though. It's a full moon movie about uh, a, uh, uh, um, but Ted, an African-American medical student that yeah. is wrong place, wrong time, gets killed, and gets reincarnated in a... African warrior doll, and but, they go but at, Ted, for revenge. Knowing us, we're going to say the wrong things and be taken out of context. But I like it. I can't, and not just for stupid reasons. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad. There's a good look. His girlfriend in that movie is good looking yeah. too. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch it. Oh yeah, good sweet. There's a mocha. shower scene. Good sweet. Mocha. Yeah, I mean not like. You know, Foxy Brown or anything, chocolate mocha at the bottom of the shower. Not not Pam Greer good, but I I am <clears> so <throat> glad to be back doing some shows with you and having fun and riffing. We riff. I always look forward to these weeks. It's it's a shame yeah. that five weeks of my life were lost. Hey, at least it was just five weeks and not five years, like some people. Remember, you had that really long weekend. True, that lasted two years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll, maybe we'll talk about it in the future. If but, you want to. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But um, leave your comments below, man. Let us yeah. know what you think the of Dollman. three of you that man. watch, let, let, jump on in. Let us know what you think. And for those of you just listening, you're, you're really missing out because I stole some really good equipment, and we're the best-looking show that <laughs> no one's watching. So tell your friends. Lots, lots of upgrades here. Um, okay, look. But um, I yeah. mean, just look how crystal clear you can see the zits on my forehead. Everything. Oh no. Yeah. But oh well. There you go, you guys. Um, until next week. Uh, if you got any recommendations or anything, although we'll do whatever we want. Every recommendation is um, always. Please stop making videos. <laughs> With that said, until next week, you guys, uh, Late Late Horror Shop, peace out.